So, AI deepfakes are going to just continually get worse. Uh, we've already seen a lot of AI deepfakes kind of trick a lot of people into thinking that someone said something that they actually didn't, or maybe trying to poison the water well, but here we have a whole new type of scam where Mr. Beast is talking about a video of him, just a video out there that's an AI deepfake of him doing a free iPhone 15 giveaway. And all you have to do to enter the giveaway is click the link in the description and do a bunch of this bullshit, and then you're gonna get scammed somewhere along the way. Everyone knows that this is a scam because Mr. Beast has talked about the fact that, yeah, I'm not actually doing that, I'm not a part of this, and this is just an AI deepfake of me. Somehow Mr. Beast re-uploaded a, a worse quality version of the deepfake. 10,000 lucky people who'll get an iPhone 15 Pro for just $2. And you can see that it's like moving around a lot and his eyes are constantly maintaining eye contact. Like it's mimicking a lot of the mannerisms probably because the base is from an actual video. But what he's actually saying is, well, it doesn't sound like him, and he's talking about an iPhone 15 giveaway with as much passion as if I were to read the giver. Like, it's not that exciting. And if you look at a slightly higher res version of this, For just you can $2. see that the camera angle never changes, it just stays here, and then at the end of the video, you click the now. link below, and you claim your free iPhone. This was posted on TikTok, and unfortunately, it seems like it might have also been re-uploaded to YouTube Shorts, and it doesn't seem like it's going to get any better. I think that AI deepfake ads are going to just keep getting worse to the point where you have to doubt literally everything you see. You have to approach everything on the internet that you see nowadays with even more skepticism than you already were. With memes being spread about me spreading misinformation on the internet, <laughs> kind of poking fun at this whole genre of poster on the internet, it's really alarming to see that this technology is just going to keep getting better and better, and it is not ever going to slow down, because in the past you might need a look-alike, you might need a sound-alike, you would need a lot of things, you would need a lot more effort to do this type of scam. Now all you need is a video or picture, in some cases, of the person you want to make say something, get some kind of deepfake AI voice program to make it so that you can then have the voice of the person, and then run a bunch of simulations of it, and then eventually you'll end up with a product that looks like the person, sounds like the person, you get another program to then stitch those things together so that the person's mouth actually moves with the stuff that you want them to say, and then, uh-oh, you've just scammed potentially a thousand people. And while I'm normally of the opinion that, yeah, I feel like it is, at the end of the day, on you to not get scammed on the internet, it is still really shitty that this is just such an unprecedented type of attack. An unprecedented type of scam. I didn't really understand much about scamming until I got got by a very basic scam where I gave someone my password to my Roblox account and I never saw my original Roblox account again. From that day forward, I promised myself that I would never get scammed again, but this is just so much different than being stupid, because it looks like the person, it sounds like the person, and if you don't know too much about the person, especially if there's someone who's as huge as Mr. Beast, you might not know that that's not actually them. And especially with how many of these people employ bots to then promote the video more, or maybe leave a bunch of comments attesting to the fact that they did get free iPhones, at a glance, it seems very legitimate until you think about it a little bit more and say, why would he be giving this away in this manner? Mr. Beast's philanthropy is not of this nature. He usually makes things really straightforward and really obvious and really basic. Now whenever you see a video of something like this, the first thing you should do is go to their personal accounts, which hopefully haven't been hacked or compromised, which is a total other issue if someone's account gets compromised and then they tweet something or post something that is just more of a scam, but you don't know about it because it's coming from their actual fucking account. You just have to hope that you can go there and see, huh, they're not tweeting about this iPhone giveaway or they're not posting about it on whatever social media site they mainly use. So it's probably not real. This technology is only going to get better and better, and I don't know the legality, the principality, because when you do things on YouTube, when you're advertising something on YouTube, you have to make it very clear that you're like being advertised. You have to say thank you to today's sponsor, blank, 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 or this video is sponsored by blah blah blah. You have to make it very clear. That is in the YouTube guidelines. That is something you have to follow, and if you don't follow it, you will get punished. Not only you, sometimes the advertiser will also take a hit, because you are not supposed to do shit like this. But 
what is Mr. Beast supposed to do when he could potentially be promoting products that he's not actually promoting himself, and then, God forbid, some kind of misinformation campaign actually works, and then people get mad at Mr. Beast for promoting a product he never did. How is he supposed to easily prove that he never promoted this iPhone giveaway? He didn't do it, but there's footage and audio of him doing it. When this technology gets better, there's going to be videos and clips of people saying and doing things that they quite literally never did. You can't take any video you see of someone for granted now. You can't just accept that that's a thing that actually happened. And it's now easier than ever for people to just completely fabricate things out of nothing. I mean, that looks like Joe Rogan, and that sounds like Joe Rogan, and it seems like he's talking about this musician, but I don't think Joe Rogan would ever t listen to this type of music, nor would I think he'd ever talk about this on a podcast.